Hello everybody, I am Cry, this is Kritos Place, and welcome to City Skylines, a city builder them up that I've been playing a lot of recently. So, um, yes, we are playing with mods, we are playing with a ton of mods, and quite a bit of assets, and I will put a link in the description to my Steam Workshop, where I have collections of all of these uh, assets and mods that I'm using. And as for the game, we are going to be playing on Cries at all. I made a map to play on because I felt like playing on an island map. And I do have other island maps, but I felt like making my own. So this is what we're going to be playing on. It's going to be an atoll, and that's what I'm just going to call it for now, the city name. But if anybody has a good city name, put it in the comments and we'll see about it. We'll see about making it the official name of the city. Um, I also have this map on the Steam Workshop. I uh, uploaded it to the Steam Workshop, and I'll have a direct link to that in the description below, along with, as I said, the collections for all the mods and assets that I'm using. And we are in. Okay, so, uh, yes, I am playing with money on, and I'm playing with everything unlocked because I don't have a road coming into any of this at all. So I'm kind of going to need to place these down in order to get people in. So... As for my plan to begin with, I'm going to start off with these harbors, I think up here. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to start right here and I'll put this down and I'm going to wait on the cargo harbor. I think um, we're not going to need that until we have uh, until we get some commercial in. So for now, I'm going to leave that. We're going to start off with these two lane gravel roads. So when I'm worrying about money, I like to start off with just the gravel reds because they're nice and cheap, you know, only uh, 19 cents a week, $20 per cell versus, say, this, which is $40 per cell and 32 cents a week, double the cost. So we're going to start with a gravel road and I'm just going to start a grid system. We're just going to do a nice grid system all the way through here. Get this as densely populated as possible. And I'm going to start off. OK, so in the future, I'm going to have the cargo harbor around here as well. So I want to make this a sort of tourism area, maybe, in this section and have it include this beach and possibly this one up here. Uh, and then I'm going to keep industry kind of in this location until I move it off to another island because I want to make this main island eventually be a nice, thick, densely habited island and then connect everything up with harbors and piers. Yeah, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. Yeah. I think right there will be good enough. That's enough distance. I can fit some stuff in here. Uh, and I want to I want to actually line this up. So I'm going to bring a road down right here. And grab you. Grab this guy. And use move it mod. To uh, position it. So that it's pretty much. Oh, that's actually perfect, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. That's perfectly lined up. And I'm gonna just going to. Put it up right there i'm gonna put it up right there yeah that's perfect uh so i want it to be nice and in line with the rest of these roads and i'm the cargo harbor i'm gonna do the same thing once i get that down so this we can get rid of now uh piece like that all right so to begin with i think i'm going to do all right i'm gonna make a nice curve around and have it come straight up so let's do five units five units put a little offshoot and then bring it straight up and then use move it mod, hold alt to snap and just get it right there in line. It'll do an automatic curve for you. It looks really good. All right. And now I'm going to leave that as is for now. I will connect it up as a sort of loop once I put the cargo harbor in. But for now, that's going to be just fine. Uh, and let's go ahead. I'm going to redraw this road so that these zoning so that the zoning lines up maybe maybe not <laughs> no 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 here's what i gotta do i gotta redraw it this way yeah there it goes now it's nice and clean go ahead and start off with a grid it's gonna be a nice tight grid actually i'm gonna make 10 units 10 units across yeah and i'm going to have a main road that comes straight up i think i'm going to have a nice ring road around here what if I did that? What if I did a nice, like, a massive roundabout, basically, and then another massive roundabout that goes in the opposite direction, so that if you're here, trying to go here, you don't have to go all the way around. Yeah, that might look cool. It might look stupid as hell, but it also might look cool, so we're gonna plan for that in the future. Uh, for now, we're gonna 
put 10 here and then 10 here and then 12 because I'm going to put a thicker road in there and that I think will take two units extra. In fact, you know what? Let's just put it in there to make sure that I have it right. I want to put it that's going to take two units, so I'm going to actually need four extra. So I think like that. And that's going to be ten. Well, that's twelve, but that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm one too far over. So that's where that's got to be. And now I'm just going to leave that as a dirt road. Which means that this was eleven. I needed to put eleven over, so I was right the first time. So that's 11. That's going to be a nice thick road. And this will be 10 again. So 10. So now people can come in. They can come up here and they can settle. So we're going to go ahead and draw in all of this. Uh, I'm going to draw it in here. I'm just going to do the insides first. Uh, commercial is going to be down here. I'm going to have commercial be down here. But I'm going to worry about that later. For now, I'm just going to grow up this direction. I'm going to leave this uh, and worry about it later. Because right now, I need to worry about getting a profit. Because this thing, that's going to start sucking some income. <laughs> that's going to start sucking some income real quick. Speaking of, we're going to pop this all up to 12%. That's about the minimum that they will allow before complaining. So I'm going to pop all that up to 12% tax. And I have auto budget on uh, for most of these things. So that'll help keep uh, keep my budget in line. Uh, we're gonna need electricity and i'm gonna start with an advanced wind turbine because around here i don't have a lot like that's well i could do eight there eight i could do that but it's gonna i'm gonna have to add more very quickly and that'll just be six thousand that uh, is down the drain so i'm gonna put this down it's double the cost but it's more than double the power output so i'm gonna put these uh advanced wind turbines down i think it would look pretty cool if they made like a ring in here so i might do that later but for now for now i don't have that access uh so i'm gonna put it over here as for water uh pumping station let's go ahead and just plop that down right next to this guy for the time being and we're going to need sewage treatment and we're going to use these buildings here administration and laboratory and then we're got to grit and screen facility later uh, let's see, how should I put this down? I could put it down right there. And that would actually be in line for the grid if I want to continue that grid down. Yeah, we'll put it right there for the time being. Oh, that's pretty noisy. Ooh, that is pretty noisy. I'm going to leave it right here for the time being. So that's the sewage taken care of. I just need to draw in the pipes. I like to keep my pipes, uh, on the roads because you don't have to do that. But it's realistic. <laughs> uh, you're not, you're not... In, in real life, they don't really go like that through all the zo zoning. Because then they'd have to like worry about all the houses. And you can't get good, easy access to the main pipes. So they, they keep them under the roads. That's why we have a bunch of manholes. So uh, I like to keep it that way. Nice and realistic. There we are. People are moving in. Water's getting dealt with. Water's getting dealt with. There we go. So uh, people will start coming in through the harbor. Oh, one thing I need to do real quick. I always forget to do this when I start a new save. Go to Traffic Manager. Simulation Accuracy, I like to have on Medium. Gameplay, Disable Despawning. That's what I like to call Hard Mode. Advanced Vehicle AI Dynamic Lane uh, Selection, I like to put on about 80%. And that's good. But Disable Despawning, you can also do that from here. When this is blue, then vehicle despawning is disabled. And that basically means that uh, you have bad traffic, you got to deal with it. You got to fix it. In vanilla, they play easy with you, right? If it starts getting really dense traffic, they'll just pop a few vehicles gone. They're like, oh, we'll remove the, some of these for you. Well, you know, the, the game takes it easy on you. No, I don't like to do that. I like to deal with everything as it is. All the vehicles, if they're, if they're backing up, I got to fix it. That's what I like to play. You know, 
because this game doesn't have a whole lot of challenge by itself especially once you start getting mods like this i allow you to <laughs> fix traffic real easy but uh yeah uh i like to have that it's fun a little extra dynamic oh one thing i want to do before they start growing too much is i want to draw in my district for this island i'm just going to fill this entire square because you know, why not okay in this district i have this i have a theme called islanders and it's basically just like uh let's go ahead and filter by included stuff that i feel like kind of has an islandy feel to it maybe <laughs> i really don't have anything specific but yeah i like i like the the theme it looks pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and have that and let's go ahead and encourage biking in fact as a city policy i want to encourage biking uh and i will also do these later ah fuck it we'll do it now and in here specifically disable it until later um yeah so enabled in the city disabled in the district the district uh i'm just gonna call cries at all somebody give me a name for that in the comments that would be fantastic uh let's get the simulation going all right let's go ahead and fill out the next row here and actually i'm going to make this one commercial and i'm gonna make this one commercial sorry sorry you gotta move out and make that one commercial and let's make this one commercial i like to spread out my commercial you know i want people to be able to walk to walk to a store that's not too far away so if you live in right here the farthest store is two blocks that's not too bad to walk and that's also the reason for this tight grid 10 by 10 unit grid that encourages walking having tight grids having larger grids makes it you know it's more difficult to walk you gotta if you want to come here you gotta go all the way up here all the way up here well i guess it doesn't really make much of a difference <laughs> in terms of these grids but uh say if i didn't have this road you lived here and you wanted to visit a store that's down here you'd have to walk all the way around but now with this road here you just go straight to it so that's that's a good good thing for encouraging walking not great for cars but it's good for walking this mod i love this mod i what's it called camera utility positions something like that i'll pop it up on the screen this mod lets you get right down into thick of it and you can see everything that's going on and right now it looks pretty pathetic with these dirt roads <laughs> but uh we'll, we'll upgrade the roads in due time for now we're gonna leave it as is i don't want this to go dark i have ultimate eye candy here i'm gonna use that to disable my nice uh day and night cycle i'll leave it at about one o'clock all right so very soon i think they're going to start wanting some industry what i should do is go ahead and designate this area as forest industry because we have a lot of forest and i like to use forest because they don't put out pollution so i'm going to do that and i'm going to set it up down here i'm gonna make a set when i put in my cargo harbor which i'm gonna actually have to do now because i have shops they're gonna need goods so let's go ahead and put that down real quick oh look at that that's almost perfect 0.1 degree off all right that's pretty nice okay that's good. Now I got you set up. I'm going to move you down here. I don't want to use that guide. Oh, well. Um, all right, let's just do this. Let's do this and do that. Now I'm going to... That's four units, so I want to put one there, one there, and one there. So I did that in order to create some nodes. So now I can get rid of those, and I can use move it, select this node, hold alt to snap and now it'll snap into that nice curve there we go and this is going to be a main road that heads straight up into our industry which is temporary we'll be removing the industry in due time but for now we're gonna need it let's just do a little grid for the industry real quick uh i'm not gonna make this a really tight grid um yeah i don't really care i'm gonna be removing it so do that and i'll just plop down some industry so that they got it when they need it i'm gonna have to run some pipes up here 
Another very nice mod I would like to shout out real quick is Toggle Toggle Whiteness, I believe it's called. So it basically makes it so that uh so, see, I went into my my plumbing here. I could go into my electricity, and I still see everything normal. It doesn't automatically go white. Doesn't go white until I open up my info views with the I key. I can open that up as a shortcut, and that's what enables this view. So I can see things only like this when I need to, when I feel like I need to, which is very nice. Very nice. I don't need this down here. Yes, I do. <laughs> my mistake. I do. Uh, I'm going to need. 10 units and bring it over here. That's for the next grid. Oh, I also need to give you water. My bad. My mistake. Almost forgot about you. Toggle snapping real quick. So I can get this in here and get this in here. That's good enough. Bring that down here and oh, there we go. Okay. Now I'm thinking I want to make a road in here. It's looking like I got two main roads setting up here. One that comes straight up this way, and another one that comes straight up this way. But, I don't want to have to... I, do, I, I want to make it that this is all one way. Because that's usually works out very well for these guys. Uh, let me get a road here. What if I made this all one way? No, this doesn't have to be one way. Just make it a one way going across here. Make this two ways. So that the truck... No, I'm going to make this one circle. Because I want to, I want, I want to, I need to funnel the trucks. All right. The trucks are going to be a massive issue. So uh, I'm going to get a, let's use this two way one road, one, two, two lane one road. Use touch it to unlock these roads here. You too. There we go. And then I'm going to upgrade, turn you around. Well, I could make it go the other way. Ooh, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. We'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll try and funnel it down. Yeah, that's what I'll do for now. We'll see how traffic handles that. Okay, so I need more residential zoning right, right quick. All right, go ahead and grab my dirt roads. And I was making this one out to be a main road. I can still do that. I can still do that. In fact, is this? That's this one, right? Yeah, 11. 11. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that down. That's going to be a main road up. I'm not using the high density commercial yet because those tend to be higher education jobs and I don't really have any education going on yet. Speaking of education, uh, services. I don't have any services yet, do I? No, I do not. So uh, these should be fine for covering everybody, right? Yeah, I'm going to bring them up here though. I'm going to put them somewhere in the middle here. This is going to be a main road. So I want to put them nearby, but not on the main road. I'm thinking, so I'm going to put this... Well, that's going to expand, so uh, I'm going to put it on this end, just so that I know I'm not taking up space. And I can re replace that with a big hospital later. I'm not going to worry about the dead until I start seeing problems with the dead, <laughs> because why Why should I bother? Uh, let's go ahead and put you in here. Let's get cops, the police, and put them up here. Yeah, let's put them up there. And we're going to need some education. We might need to put two of you down. Yeah, put one down over here, put one down over here sorry guys well i'll put it up here <laughs> i'll put it up here you're fine you're good today you're fine for now oh flaming ring wings Ooh, aren't you residential why do you have what okay <laughs> that's a residential building with like advertisements on it interesting uh, i'm not gonna worry about university just yet uh garbage i do not have any garbage and i'm gonna go ahead and throw that up here with the industry stuff in fact i'm gonna put it right there and I'll expand this this way. Uh, I'll re be replacing that with an incinerator or recycling centers later. But for now, we're just going to leave a landfill up there. Let that simulate. All my money is going to start draining away. I'm going to go ahead and make this a large road. 
How much money is it? <laughs> Pretty expensive. It's not going to be a long road. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Get it in now. Get it out of the way. Uh, what I do not like is these these lanes here. You see, I this is not. I like having dedicated lanes. By that I mean one lane does one thing. This lane does one thing. It makes you go left. This lane does two things. It goes forward and left, and I don't like that. I like it so that I, I, I what would be ideal is two lanes and three lanes. So I might have a road for that in here somewhere. Uh, vanilla plus. I'm using vanilla plus roads. They add a ton of options for roads. And since uh, network extensions is kind of outdated at this point and it's not really being updated and Harmony seems to have broken it, the recent Harmony patch. So, uh, yeah, I went looking for alternatives and this is looking pretty good, these vanilla plus roads. So um, we're going to go ahead and look and see. Actually... What about in these small roads? Do we have a three plus one? Three plus one might work. Three plus two is ideal. Mm, I'm gonna leave it for now. If it becomes a problem, I'll I'll deal with it. But for now, it's probably gonna be all right. Right hand turns. As long as you put that on a right hand turn, it's usually gonna be okay. Let's go ahead and make you yield there for the time being. And you're having problems. Not enough workers. Well. Where are my people? Just realized I don't have anybody in my city. Nobody's moving in. Hold up. Hold up. You're not connected. Neither of you are connected right now. Okay. Will that fix it? Well, it doesn't say that it's wrong. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's the water. Maybe the water's not... Maybe it's not close enough to the water. I was wondering, I was really wondering why, why are not, why aren't I seeing any cars? Why have they not gotten industry demand yet? Turns out, it's because I don't have anybody moving into the city. Which, that means that they can't find a path, which means this isn't working, because that should be their path. Their only path. Let's go ahead and connect these back up. I moved it all out. Moved it all out so that it's definitely in the water now. Anybody? Oh, there they are! There they are! It didn't have a path. It was too close to the land. That fixed it. All right. So now we got people moving in. We're actually going to have some tax money coming in. Oh, yeah. Now they're coming in droves. All right. Where's the ship at? Where's the ship at? Is that it? I don't see them yet. They're coming, though. The game's telling me they're coming in. And they've taken jobs. These guys are no longer complaining. There we go. That's good. That's good. We're still making a, a deficit. But we have enough money, I think, uh, to... That, oh, there's our industry. There's our industry. In fact, they want more. So let's go ahead and put in some more industry. In fact, uh, let me fix this grid. I, I don't like this grid. It's all... It's not... <laughs> it's... It, it's... Here we go. Here, there. That's 15. That's 15. Okay, I want to make this 15. I want to make it... <laughs> it's bigger, but I want to make it, you know, symmetrical. <laughs> I, I, I have needs, and these needs are OCD, so it's not working. It's not working for me. There we go. Okay. Now let's fix the zoning here. I don't want any zoning out here, only in the middle for the time being. There we go. So we can get some more industry going. We have people coming in eventually on something, one of these ships. Right? One of you is bringing in my people. Where are you? You can see when there's cargo coming through. But I'm not seeing any residential cars coming in. And I'm not seeing anybody out on the streets. It's operating and I'm making a profit now. But the people just aren't coming in. 
And I need more electricity. Okay. I'd have imagined they'd arrived by now. I'm seeing police cars. I'm seeing trucks. Garbage trucks. I'm seeing regular cargo trucks. But I'm not seeing people. Give it a bit of time. I'm sure they'll come in. I'm sure. I'm sure they'll be coming in soon. Let's go ahead and bring this down by 10. And bring this up. And bring this over. Bring this up. Bring this over. Bring this up. Bring this over. Extend that. There we go. Oh, there they are. There's a million of them all at once. There it is. <laughs> a whole line of them. Oh, boy. They're all full up. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be 15, 16 of these guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> There's 14. I counted them by the tails in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, oh boy, it's a traffic jam. We got a, we got a ship jam. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, uh, lesson to be learned from this. Make sure that you actually have connection with your harbor <laughs> or you're going to wind up with a uh, new kind of traffic jam. Okay, this is good. This is good. There we are. Look at all that. There they are. They're coming off to the races. Oh, I need to fix this road. I want you to be equal with that and I want you to slope. There we go. There we go. Uh, click on that, hit H, control H to for uh, align to height, and then I aligned it with this guy's height. And as for this guy, uh, control shift S, I have to quick slope, and that will automatically slope that to the middle between these two nodes. So some useful tools for move it mod. I'm going to go ahead and real quick use terrain tool. I want to fix up this terrain because I moved it out so far. It's not what I want. I want it smooth. I want it smooth. I want to make it up here. Smooth out the terrain a bit, just so that it's not all wonky. Uh, we still don't have educated workers. You want highly educated and well-educated. How is my education going? Uh, it's fine for the time being. I don't have a high school down. I kind of forgot to put down a high school, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Yeah, that'll be fine. I just got knocked a bunch of people out of their homes, but... Now they have education. <laughs> so uh, they're going to have to deal with it. You want education? Well, you got to move out of your home. Let's go ahead and extend extendo this grido because uh, we're going to need some more zoning real soon. And T. I have an eyedropper tool. This right here. Let's see if it'll pop up with a name. No. Well, it's an eyedropper mod. It allows you to just select an item and then you can place that item. It'll automatically bring it up so that's the dirt road that's for the big road there it's a very useful tool when you're dealing with a ton of different assets so i really highly recommend it like i said i have in the description uh, all of the assets that i'm using all of the mods all the assets so uh definitely go take a look at those there's some good stuff in there oh hello there's a bit of a tree in your way there we go <laughs> got some trees in the and speaking of trees, let's go ahead and get move it, select only trees, and then let's just get rid of all of those. And there we go. In fact, let's do a little bit wider. There we go. Free up a little bit of memory and uh, get them out of the street like that. That's that's kind of in the street. I got cluster trees that I was using because they, they make a nice dense looking forest without a whole lot of trees being used. So... But one downside is that they will hang right onto your roads real easy. Like, like that. I'm going to upgrade this road. All right, this, this is a, obviously a heavily used road, and I'm going to give it its due upgrade. And I will do the same for this road here. Give that upgrades. So go ahead and do my dedicated turning lanes. Dedicated turning lane, dedicated turning lane, and same up here. Dedicated turning lanes. These are ideal because there's only one turn off, which means one goes right, one goes forward, one goes left, one goes forward. That's perfect. 
So let's go ahead and do that for all of these. Uh, by the way, to do dedicated turning lanes, uh, using Traffic Manager Presidential Edition, uh, select the Lane Arrows tool, Control, hold Control, and then oops, select the tool, hold Control, click, and it will do the Lane Arrows. Let me just mess up the arrows real quick. So it looks like that. Hold Control, click, Automatic Lane Arrows. As for my priority signs, I like to have a yield sign in most cases. So I'm going to hold shift and it will do this entire road and set up all of my priority signs, which is ideal. Look at that. Go ahead and fix that one real quick and we're good. Oh, I also need to do priority uh, dedicated turning lanes there. So that will keep this running a bit more smoothly. It's not as densely populated with road or cars now. It's also faster, so they get to where they need to go quicker. Which also makes it a priority road for the AI. AI tend to like to take the fastest path, the path, the fastest route to where they want to go. So these roads actually have a higher speed limit. We can see it using this mod. In fact, speed limits. This main road here is 50. These dirt roads are 30 kilometers. So the AI will tend to want to come down this road and then turn to get to this place. Instead of saying coming up here, turning here, and then going up that way. So that keeps the traffic dedicated to, or uh, concentrated where you want it to be, if you can learn how to use that properly. Uh, I am I'm having trouble keeping up with the city now. Look at this, it's even more demand for, for roads. Let's go ahead and bring this up and do another grid. Oh yes, oh yes. Nice growth going on, this is fantastic. I'm gonna start upgrading all these dirt roads. They don't need to be dirt anymore. I'm making a bit of a profit. I can afford to upgrade these roads. Uh, question is, do I wanna do lower density roads, two lane roads, or do I want to do some extra lanes? I think I'm gonna to keep to these roads for the time being. In fact, I'm not even gonna give them trees yet. I'm just gonna do these cheaper ones. Uh, and then I will upgrade them with more lanes if there starts to become a traffic problem. I do believe. Oh yeah, I never did. I never did death care, did I? Oops. <laughs> uh, we need some death care going on real quick. Uh, let me go ahead and get a crematorium. Uh, we can plop that down pretty much anywhere. In fact, I think I'm gonna put it right inside the healthcare building here. I like that right there. <laughs> We've got some death care to take care of. Sorry about that. Sorry. Just got dead bodies rotting inside of residential homes. Oops. My mistake. Okay, yeah, they're they're uh, giving way to these vehicles that are coming this direction, but uh, it's working out okay. Well, it's it's starting to back up, isn't it? It is, and these guys these guys are stopping, which I do not like. You can already see this becoming a problem. It's coming back into this other road. Okay, so it's time to do this because this is a collector road. It should not, uh, it, it, it shouldn't, is it, is it a collector or distributor? <laughs> I forget which one that is now, but um, it shouldn't have that many connections. It shouldn't have so many connections. So every second, uh, every second block, every second grid, take out a road. I forgot about that in my planning. I'm going to clear these out so that they can rebuild Actually, you know what I should have done was I should have left these ones in and removed these ones. That would make more sense, brain. I might need to put a roundabout in here. In fact, I think that would be a good idea. And I'm actually going to take this road here. Delete that. Connect you up here directly. Turn you around. All right, now control O, that will bring up the roundabout builder mod. 
And I'm going to put a roundabout right in here. Right in the center here. I'm, I think 32 will be good. And now for my favorite roundabout, Roads. Another asset mod. Turbo Roundabout is my favorite because it removes all the zoning. It doesn't have any zoning on it. So that uh, is good. It's not a good idea to have buildings zoned on your roundabout. All right. The roundabout, we want that to keep traffic moving. Um... I'm going to go ahead and fix this road here because I don't like that there's a node in the middle. Oopsie, I didn't want to do that. No, 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 no. Now, the priority signs. You click on this, shift and control will automatically set up a dedicated roundabout road. So it puts a bunch of yield signs on and dedicated turning lanes. And it will make it so that there is no lane switching in any middle nodes that don't have a intersection. So that will be very useful for keeping traffic flowing. So we'll see this quickly start to clear up. Yeah, yeah, definitely better. In fact, I'm gonna make this an angle like that. How's that? Yep, that way it's, yep, they can just fly right onto it. They don't have to slow down at all. Ideally, I think I would want this to be on the other side. In fact, I might even want to have one on both sides. I want to do that uh, eventually. For the time being, this is looking pretty good. Let's start building out my grid a bit more because we're going to start wanting to get a lot more people into this city. Okay, what do I want to do with this guy? That's the big question. What do I want to do with this big centerpiece? I want to make it a park. I want to make it a nature reserve park. Uh, and as a result, I think I want to give it a lot of space. Ooh, I, I like the idea of packing this island with as many people as possible, but I also want to make that a nature reserve. Yeah, I'll leave it. I, I was thinking about removing this section just to make it a nice big square, but I think I'll leave it in for the time being. I might I might not put a park in there. I don't know. I don't know yet. I think it would look nice, but uh, I'm quite fond of my idea of just massive roundabouts. <laughs> nah, nah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. It's good. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, brain. Perfectly okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and start zoning How is my sewage treatment? I'm going to get another sewage treatment building down. Uh, it's not what I want. I want the administration and laboratory. That's what I want. All right. So that's going to pop up my sewage treatment, which should actually bring down the budget. Let's see real quick. 
Yep, there we go. That brings the budget right on down. That probably saves me money in the long run. So let's go ahead and get my advanced wind turbine. I need to get another one of these down. All right, so here's what I want to put in here. I have uh, not growables, ploppables, roundabouts. I have roundabout parks. Oops. So I want to grab a park. Find one that fits. That fits in there. I could put a big old circle thingy. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nice piece of art. Uh, actually, there is... That's not what I want. Uh, this one, actually, I think would look pretty nice. Nice big welcome to the city kind of statue. Yeah. Go ahead and put that in right there. That's really small. <laughs> uh, I'm missing some pieces, I think. Chevrons. I'm just missing the signs. I don't want the signs. Uh, I can decorate that. I could do that manually. There we are. That looks nice. I like it. I like it a lot. The one thing it's missing is some lighting. Like in the middle here. Aiming right up at it. Under lighting it. That would look nice. But that's that's great. Alright. I uh, need to get some zoning going on. Let me real quick. How much would it cost to move over here? 4000 4700 I can make that in a week, <laughs> about. Uh, but I need more than that. I need more than just that tip. Did I have oil on this island? No, but I did have ore. That's really far away. That's a lot of purchasing. I think I want to move to this island. I want to get these squares so that I can do some electricity i need to do some electricity but i also want to do some uh farming forestry and ore i can make this a really industrious zone in this island um and then move up to this one and that will give me a lot of space for residential and commercial zoning up there and over here i kind of want to make that a nice little like its own sort of alcove residential alcove have a nice outlook kind of high road skyscrapers up on top of the hill that would look pretty cool uh oh uh oh uh oh you see that i see that that's a massive amount of traffic <laughs> and that is because of the trucks the trucks are causing this problem partly because i have it going the other way around uh so 
Uh, like I was saying, it's a bit of a problem having the, all these trucks here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put down another one over here because they're gonna prefer this one. It'll be closer, I think. And I like that. That's a good orientation. I'm gonna put down another cargo terminal down here. I'm gonna connect this up. Oh boy, look at that. 2.2 degrees up. I'm really, I'm really good at that. I'm really good at eyeballing that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Pat myself on the back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, all these trucks, this is a problem. So I wanna make, I wanna at least split that traffic because it was doing okay until I put this last uh, expansion in. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that come down here for the time being. I'm gonna have it come to about there, connect it up. Uh, let's see, I gotta make it a nice round thing set i can make it a roundabout <laughs> four units so come here go four units connect it up and then i'm gonna come up here get rid of those and i need one way roads i also need to unlock this road with a touch it mod touch this upgrade all those uh those are the right way around actually this one's not that's a nice roundabout. I'm going to use move it, hold this segment, hold alt, and it'll snap into place. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I need to upgrade this road so that it becomes a priority. That's not what I wanted, game. There we go. I want it to be a priority road. Uh, and I'm going to have this be a priority road. Okay, so that should hopefully draw some of the traffic down here. And that might help free this up. So I'm going to let it run for a second here and see what happens. Yep, you can already see them going down there. You can already see them all the way up there. This is starting to clear out. And it's still backing up quite a bit. Okay, ideally this should go the other way around. Yeah, that's definitely running better. And also, having everybody come down here is a better better option as well. I need to bring my uh, water surfaces down here. Oh, I need to extend them out here. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. All of you are demanding water, and I'm just not listening at all. Oh, look at that. We got an abandoned building. I've, I took so long that these guys were just like, nope. Nope, we're done. We're done dealing with this. You you suck. You're a terrible mayor. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Uh-oh. What are you guys doing? Okay. <laughs> what if I do that? Then it just backs up the other way. Uh, turn it off. <laughs> Why are you still stopping? Oh, because there's people. <laughs> There's people getting in your way. That's why you're stopping, right? No, you're just stopping because you feel like stopping. Stop stopping. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing's about to spontaneously combust. So, uh, yeah. We're at 5,600 people, and we're making a decent profit every week. We have a lot of res uh, industrial demand, which I can keep on going this way, but I think I'm going to start trying to purchase these squares over here um as for our commercial i think next video i'm going to start working on making this a nice tourism district right along this beach yeah i think i want to use this beach not this one uh first because it's a wide nice wide beach and i'm gonna try and make that straight we'll see if i can do that uh that's next time ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching it has been fantastic uh i hope you all enjoyed like favorite subscribe there's no favoriting that's a leftover from when there used to be favorite videos <laughs> uh yeah peace